Rebecca's world. I arrive at my family's large, sprawling hacienda in the North Valley and pull into the driveway. I let myself in with my key and find my mother, my mother, sitting at the large oak kitchen table. There is an open can of beer in front of her. I look around for my father, the only one I've ever known to drink beer. My mother notices and makes a bitterly amused face, taking one long gulp before telling me, El patron, he's not here. He's at the office. I hate it when she calls my father the boss, but she's always done it and probably always will. Mom? I take a seat across from her and look at her worriedly. What's going on? It's his secretary, she says. The one with the big chichis. And the one who put that shirt down to here. Janelle? I ask. Esa misma, spits my mother, tears welling in her eyes. I get a cold, sick feeling in anticipation of what I'm about to hear. Your father, she says, unable to meet my eyes anymore. He's been... He's been carrying on with her for a number of years. What? I feel the bottom drop out of my life in this moment. My father? He's been the rock in my life. I've known he wasn't perfect. I mean, he's sexist, he's racist, but I never thought he could betray my mother. And now, she says, all her kids are his. I feel all the blood drain out of my face. I am dizzy and grip the table to steady myself. It is worse than I thought. Cheating is one thing, but having a whole second secret family, this sort of thing doesn't happen to people like us. Are you sure? I ask. Maybe Janelle's just trying to get money, framing him. I knew he was messing around on me for years, she tells me. That Janelle, she's probably telling the truth. Some of her kids look just like your dad. I always thought so. One of them, her voice trails off, and she gets a cold, frighteningly distant look in her eyes. One of them looks like you. She's your same age, y todo. I knew my father was domineering. It was that way all my life. But I had never suspected him of being unfaithful to my mother. This is truly shocking. You knew? I ask, taking a seat because I am suddenly feeling so unsteady. She nods, almost imperceptibly. But I didn't know for sure about who he was messing around with, and I never knew until now for sure about those kids. That oldest girl of hers, she looks a lot like you. I always noticed that, but I just told myself it was a coincidence. Now that girl went and got her a DNA test, and got him involved somehow, and she sent me and your father the results, and she's demanding that he do something to make, up, make it up to her. That girl is not in the right head. Your father? I told him I want a divorce. I can't look at him the same anymore. My jaw drops. My parents have been together since they were in junior high. My mother helped my father start and run his successful Mexican food company. In fact, most of his best ideas have been hers, and a source of endless frustration for me has been his inability to acknowledge the important role she's played in the success of the company. I can't find words. I never knew, until right now, that the only thing worse than discovering that your own spouse is cheating on you is the knowledge that your father has been unfaithful to your mother for your entire life. My mother drinks some more beer. I uh, try to comprehend what I'm seeing. I've never seen her drink beer, ever. So me, she says, pointing to the Miller Lite can, I've been drinking these since last night. I figure he drank them for years to dull the pain of coming home to me night after night, so maybe, you know, maybe they'll make me happy too. <laughs> Mom, no, it's... It wasn't your fault, don't. She goes on, and now I don't feel so much like I did before. Now I feel like maybe it doesn't even matter. She gives a drunk smile, and my heart breaks. She wags an unsteady finger at me, and it was my fault. There's things you don't know. I will leave it at that. What can I do? I ask her, the tears welling in my own eyes.